Hi, welcome to part two in this three-part series on the song Flame Trees, Australia's greatest rock ballad. In part one, we looked at Cold Chisel, its rise from obscurity in 1973 until the band dissolved in 1983, but not before pumping out two great singles from their final album, 20th Century, those singles being Saturday Night and Flame Trees. And that's what we'll be looking at today. Roll the intro. Never in the field of human consciousness was so much over. Tear down this wall. Oh, this is it's 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 a plane and returning him safely to the earth. So how did Flame Trees come about? Well, Steve Presswich was Cold Chisel's drummer. He had been responsible for two of their great singles, Forever Now and When the War Is Over. And towards the end, he started playing around with a bass guitar. He came up with this idea for a tune on the bass guitar and handed it over to Don Walker, the driving force behind Cold Chisel's music and lyrics. And Don Walker came up with the lyrics and the arrangement. Now the premise of the song is someone returning to their hometown and to the memories that remain. And in this case, of a girl. And there are three other key reasons why this is such a great song and why it's Australia's greatest rock ballad. The first one, the lyrics. The lyrics have a wide ranging appeal because of their, of their sentimentality. The other Cold Chisel songs are a bit more hard, a bit more raw, whereas this one here is much softer and appeals to a wider audience. The second reason is the arrangement of the music. The music has a particular tempo and a particular rhythm to it and the use of uh, sp uh, specific chords is quite remarkable and we'll be going into that in a minute. And the third reason it's such a great song is because it represents Australia's halcyon days of pub rock before all the poker machines took over the venues and there were no longer any real locations to enjoy Aussie pub rock. And then of course we had the synthesizers of the late 80s and the 90s and then the rap influx of the noughties and the 10s. So let's have a look at a closer look at this particular song. So when we listen to the studio recording, it starts with a drum beat, an escalating drum beat by Steve Presswich. Of course, that can't be replicated on the piano. So when Don Walker created the music for it for the piano, that's replicated by an ever increasing series of notes, the E note like this. Now the song itself is written in the key of E. Now when you look at the scale of the key of E, there are three natural notes and four sharps. So those natural notes are E, A and B. Now it is a gentle rocking between A and E, A and E that brings up the theme of the song Flame Trees and I'll show you. Now, if you can imagine that permeating the whole of the song, just rocking forward, backwards and forwards, it gives a very comforting feeling, just like being rocked to sleep in a cradle or feeling the waves on a boat. If you listen carefully, you'll hear it going from A to E, A to E. But then every now and then, Walker will take you on a slight excursion away from that theme and take you through to the third note of that scale that's a natural, that's a B, like this. That's the A, and that's the B. Now, any child studying music will be able to tell you that a major chord sounds like a happy chord, and a minor chord sounds like a sad chord. Take this for example, here's a G major. Nice and happy. Now here is a G minor. Sad. Okay, very basic musical concept. What Walker does when he arranges the music is that he will use the natural notes for the basis of the theme and then when he wants to introduce a sad concept, he'll use a minor chord from one of the sharps. In particular, G sharp minor and F sharp minor and then once C sharp minor like this. 
G sharp minor, F sharp minor, and C sharp minor. So when it's a happy concept, he'll use A and E. When it's a sad concept, he'll use one of those minor chords. Okay, let's have a look at it. Kids are driving Saturday afternoon, just pass me behind. See, that's the A and E. And I'm just savoring familiar sights. Apologise for the singing. But see how it goes from A to E? We shared some history, this town and I. And it takes you on that excursion from the A. And I can't stop that long forgotten feeling of her. Goes A, B, G sharp minor, A. Time to book a room and stay tonight. Back to E. Now E is the home chord. I like to consider that to be the, the comfortable chord, the home. So when he takes you away from that nice comforting backwards and forwards to on a little excursion, maybe to bring up some sad emotion, he'll always bring you back to happiness using that E chord. Number one is to find some friends and say, you're doing well. After all this time, you boys look just the same. See, there's an A and E. Number two is the happy hour at the one of two hotels. Settle in to play, do you remember so and so? See how he uses that G sharp minor when he starts talking about do you remember so and so? because he's trying to elicit that sadness of, yes, you're reminiscing, but every now and then you'll come across a sad memory or learn some sad news. Maybe so-and-so is dead. So do you remember so-and-so? Well, he's dead now. Settle into play, do you remember so-and-so? Number three is never say her name. All right, now. This is interesting. He rattles off three things to do. Number one is to find some friends and say you're doing well. After all this time, you boys look just the same. There are 25 syllables in that list. No, there are 25 syllables in that point. Number two is the happy hour at the one of two hotels and settle into play, do you remember so-and-so? That's 22 syllables. So item number one, 25 syllables. Item number two, 22 syllables. Then the third thing he says, it's almost as, as if it's an aside, like it's parenthetical. Oh, by the way, number three is never say her name. That's five syllables. 25 syllables, 22 syllables, five syllables. Now this is part of the genius of Don Walker when he writes his songs. He's trying to show that this guy has come back he doesn't want people to think that the girl he left behind was important or the fact that he had left was important. And so he rattles off the things that he needs to do. Find the friends, start reminiscing, but never say her name. Fantastic. Another thing Walker does when he is using the different chord progressions, he'll use a suspended chord as if he's underlining a statement. So here's the E. He uses that suspended chord. But he uses it in such a way as if he's underlining the comment that he's just made. This is like a... And that's all, or... And that's that. So it's underlining that idea that he's just put forward in the lyrics. Now when you look at the arrangement of the song, it goes verse, verse, chorus. So the first verse is about the person returning home. The second verse is about finding your friends. And then we go to the chorus. Now the chorus is sadder than the verses. And so there's a lot more of those minor chords in the chorus. It starts off with, 
and the flame trees will blind the weary driver. Then it uses an F sharp minor. So that sad chord. And there's nothing else will set fire to this town. Now town is that comfortable concept, so of course he goes back to an E. Oh, the flame trees will blind the weary driver. And there's nothing else will set fire to this town. See how he's gone back to that E? Then he has this progression where he goes up the scale, but he uses a C sharp minor for a sad concept. There's no change, there's no pace, everything within its place. Back to that E. Makes it harder to believe that she won't be around. And that's that. So when he hits the, the chorus, you'll hear that marvellous chord progression where he uses that A, goes to B, then to a F sharp minor for that sad notion. And there's nothing else will set fire to this town. Now, the lyrics he uses there, it's interesting to, to point out. So the song Flame Trees was named after, people think it was the Jacarandas in Grafton, which was um, Don Walker's hometown. Well, it's actually the Illawarra flame trees, which are also um, prevalent in Grafton, and they bloom during the spring. So if you drive into Grafton, you'll see the purple flowers of the jacaranda trees and the bright red of the Illawarra flame trees. Now, at the time that the song was written, there was a series on the ABC called The Flame Trees of Thika. It was a, a British, uh, British drama, and it starred Hayley Mills. Hayley Mills was a child actor in the 50s and 60s, and during the early 80s, she starred in this, this miniseries. Now, if you grew up in the 50s and 60s and 70s, you would have seen her. She's a particularly attractive woman and was an, an attractive girl. So if you were an adolescent during the 60s, you would have had a crush on Hayley Mills. And so it only stands to reason that um, that series would have been of interest to anyone who had an interest in Hayley Mills. And so the flame trees of Thika was something that they would watch, you know, at least Don Walker would watch. And of course, the flame trees of Grafton was something that brought back memories of his hometown. And so if you also look at where Grafton is in New South Wales, it's a seven hour drive from Sydney. And Don Walker lived in King's Cross, the red light district of Sydney with its it's rubbish and it's crime and drugs and it's sleaziness. Then you do this drive up to Grafton, takes seven hours to get up there and you're going through that beautiful countryside of uh, central and northern New South Wales. Beautiful green rolling hills and eucalyptus trees. And then you drive into Grafton and all of a sudden you are blinded by this bright red foliage of these Illawarra flame trees and the, the cooler purples of the jacarandas. So after that huge drive from the sleaze of the city to this beautiful country town and its foliage, you can see it's a marked difference in, in, the, hot, in the world. And it would have had uh, an impact on him going uh, from the one, one area of his life to another area of, life, of his life, in particular if he's going back home. So the whole idea of the flame trees will blind the weary driver is him driving back to Grafton from Sydney. And there's nothing else that will set fire to this town. Now that's another interesting lyric. He's saying that the town is steady, the town is immovable, the town will always be how he remembers it. It won't have the same pace as the city, but it's something that's comforting to go back to. And that's why he finishes on that E chord. But the other thing is that lyric is um, a nod to one of his first songs that was a hit, and it's Merry Go Round. And they use those lines set fire to this town in the song Merry Go Round. They subsequently use the same name, the same line, as a name for one of their tours, the Set Fire to This Town tour. So there's already this concept of setting fire to the town from a successful song from the early part of their career 
and now they're using now Don is using it in a lyric in one of their better songs from the last part of their career. Waits for the bridge and the key change. And what introduces that bridge is that slow verse where he goes, oh, who needs all that sentimental bullshit anyway? And it takes more than just a memory to make me cry. Again, that's the A. And ah, oh, needs that sentimental bullshit anyway. It goes to the E. Yeah. And it takes more than just a memory to make me cry. Then he goes on to say that he's happy just to sit here around a table with old friends. Sorry about the singing. And see which one of us can tell the biggest lies. See, that's another great lyric by Walker. He acknowledges that you're gonna be lying. You're gonna be lying to your mates, but you expect it. But something catches his attention. He goes, and there's a girl She's falling in love near where the pianola stands. A pianola. Now you can imagine an old time hotel with a pianola from say the 1920s still there. With a young local factory out of worker. Another great lyric. So he's not an auto worker as some internet sources would make you think. He's an out of worker. And that's a bit of a, a nod to those country towns where the industry waxes and wanes and brings boom years and bust years. So we have a young fella, he's a local out of worker and he's with this girl. And so this has, has uh, caused our hero to, to wonder what's going to happen to that relationship. Is that guy going to leave town in search for something better? And if he is, he's going to leave the girl behind, which is exactly the conundrum that faced our hero previously. With the young local factory out of worker, he's holding hands, and then he starts that bridge that takes us into the key change. And he goes from an A to an E to a B. Well, I think he should have gone from an A to a G sharp minor to a B. Here's an A to an E and to a B as opposed to A, G sharp minor, and then a B. And here's the key change. He goes to the C chord, and that's what everyone waits for. Do you remember nothing stopped us on the field? In our day, back to the A, back to a B. Isn't that fantastic? When you listen to the recorded version, you'll hear Barnsey belting out in his gravelly voice, but with vibrato, those lines, do you remember nothing stopped us on the field in our day? And at the same time, the other members of the band are joining in and accompanying in the vocals. So it's like a, a, a choir, a chorus of a choir building up. You listen to it, it's quite remarkable. takes us back into the chorus. Back to that A. Flame trees will blind the weary driver. There's that sad chord. And there's nothing else will set fire to this town. And there's that E again. There's no change, there's no pace. Everything within its place. There's that E chord again. Makes it harder, there's A. To believe, there's a B, back to the E. There we go. That's fantastic. And then each time you hear the songs set fire to this town, or the lyrics set fire to this town in those last two choruses, 
you'll hear Mossy accompanying him as well. So setting fire to the town is the theme that goes with the flame trees. And then as if a, a final exclamation for the song, the last note you hear or the last, last sound you hear is by the sa uh, same person who introduced the song, Steve Presswich. Remember, the song is introduced by that, uh, that drum beat, that ascending drum beat. And the last sound you hear in the song is actually the cymbal. That's a nod for Steve Presswich. And of course, Steve Presswich died of a brain tumour at age 56, and that was back in 2011. So the subsequent um, cold chisel reunions were always going to be short one member. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me in uh, this second part of the Flame Trees trilogy. Um, I hope you got something out of it. I apologise now for the quality of my singing and my playing, but I just wanted to emphasise how fantastic those lyrics were and how great Don Walker's arrangement uh, of the music to complement the lyrics and vice versa, using those major chords and then bringing the, the sad minor chords in there. But in the key of E, just using that A, E, A, B combination and then throwing in that F sharp minor, the G sharp minor and the C sharp minor just to get that emphasis of those sad chords. Um, I hope the next time that you listen to it, and you're about to listen to it now, you'll have more of an appreciation for the, the music of Cold Chisel, and in particular this song, Flame Trees. And you'll see why I think it's Australia's greatest rock ballad. Enjoy, and hopefully I'll see you for part three to this trilogy, where we look at the film clip that accompanied Flame Trees, uh, that was directed and produced by one of Australia's greatest directors that no one's ever heard of. Um, he's quite remarkable. He's a musician himself, so he had a real feel for the music, and he had a number of challenges in creating the film clip. And this is back in 1984. And one of the great challenges there was he wasn't allowed to use Jimmy Barnes, who was the front man and the face of Cold Chisel. So join me for part three in this Flame Trees trilogy. And until then, set fire to the town. Takes more than just a memory to 
Just fall in love Near where the beer 